Hi, I'm Blair Adams, a nurse practitioner with Jefferson County Public Schools, and this month we have a special episode of Ask a Nurse. We are going to address the topic of suicide and how we can prevent it. Our guest today is school psychologist Penny Mills. Hi. Suicide is a serious problem in the U.S. and Kentucky. Can you tell us um, how big of a problem it is? According to the Centers for Disease Control, there are approximately 44,000 completed suicides each year in the U.S. In Kentucky, it is the second leading cause of death for people between the ages of 10 to 34. What are some of the warning signs that a child or adolescent may be thinking about suicide? Some examples can include making suicidal statements, giving away belongings, withdrawing from family or friends, being preoccupied with death in conversation, writing, or drawings, neglecting personal appearance, and change in personality, such as from being upbeat to quiet. So what about some of the myths about suicide? For example, talking about suicide or asking someone if they feel suicidal will actually encourage suicide attempts. The fact is that talking about suicide provides the opportunity for communication, fears that are shared or more likely to diminish. What about if young people who talk about suicide never attempt or complete suicide? The fact is that talking about suicide can be a plea for help and can be a late sign in the progression towards a suicide attempt. What about the myth that people who threaten suicide are just seeking attention? The fact is that all suicide attempts must be treated as though the person has the intent to die. Once a young person is suicidal, they will be suicidal forever. The fact is that most young people who are considering suicide will only be that way for a limited period of time. So how is JCPS addressing suicide prevention with students? All JCPS middle and high students will receive a lesson on suicide prevention in August at their school, and middle and high school staff will also receive information and resources that same month. Parents can watch a suicide prevention presentation on the district's website. Where can I go for more information? You can call the Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK or check out the Suicide Prevention Resource Center online at sprc.org or the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention at afsp.org. And each JCPS school has a school counselor as well. Penny, thank you so much for all of this great information. And thank you for joining us on this episode of Ask a Nurse. If you have any further questions, you can reach JCBS Health Services at 485-3387 or you can visit our JCBS website. See you next time.